We have some radioactive substance which is decaying with a certain half-life, and we have a question about it. Here this substance initially weighs 30 grams. We'll use the letter y to denote the amount of the substance at time t. So what this means is that y0, or y initial, equals 30 grams. We're also given the half-life of 10 days. You can use that notation t sub 1 half equals 10 here, or you can write what this means in terms of our function that if we substitute the value of 10 into our function, we should be left with half the original substance, 30 over 2, or 15. We can use this information to write the equation for the amount of substance at any time t. Remember the solution to the exponential growth and decay differential equation. The solution is y of t, y naught, e to the kt. k positive means we're growing, k negative means we're decaying. We're going to see a negative k value here shortly. Let's fill this in. Right off the bat, we know what y0 is. y initial was given to be 30, e to the kt. We can use our other piece of information to solve for that k. y of 10 equals 15. We get out 15 when we plug in 10 for t. This will be e to the k times 10. Let's go ahead and solve for k. Divide both sides by 30. 15 over 30 is a half. e to the 10k. Let's go ahead and take the natural logarithm of both sides to undo that e. Natural log of a half is natural log of e to the 10k. We do that because ln and e undo each other. We just get 10k. Finally, divide both sides by 10. Natural log of a half over 10. This is k. This is our proportionality constant. Now that we have k, we can plug it back into our function and actually answer the question. We'll take this value and plug it back in. So we get our full y of t is 30 e to the natural log of 1 half over 10 times t. It's not the nicest equation you've ever seen, but we can answer our question. What was our question? Find the amount of substance after 20 days. When t equals 20, let's substitute 20 into our new equation. y of 20 equals 30 e natural log of 1 half over 10 times 20. And I think we can actually do a few nice things with properties of logarithms. Certainly, 20 over 10 makes 2. So in the exponent here, we have e to the 2 natural log of a half. We can write that coefficient as the exponent of the inside. This could say 30 e to the natural log of 1 half squared. And now e and ln can undo each other once more. We can cancel these. We'll just get 30 times 1 half squared. 1 half squared is a fourth. 30 over 4 looks like 7.5. Our weight was measured in grams. There was kind of a back and forth here. We had to take the information from the question and write it in terms of our function. We had to remember the general solution for the exponential growth and decay equation. Once we plugged in our information, we could find k, that proportionality constant, plug k back in, we could finally answer the question. This is a very common technique. It might be worth your review.